Hello everyone. Good morning one and all. Welcome back to the second lecture on the unit friction. Okay. Uh, in the previous lecture we discussed what exactly the friction means. Whether the friction is advantageous or disadvantageous. Then different types of friction. And the some laws of the friction. We will move ahead in this chapter and we will start the second lecture. Today we are going to discuss some of the important terminologies which are related to the friction. Like coefficient of friction, limiting value of friction and angle of repose. Okay. So this is the content what we are going to discuss in the today's class. As I told you, we will discuss what do we mean by the, we will study what do we mean by the coefficient of the friction. How to find out the coefficient of the friction. Then we will study the limiting angle of friction. And finally the angle of repose. Now, coefficient of friction. Fine. So how we define the coefficient of the friction to understand that let us observe the diagram okay there is the one block over here there is the one block over here and this is the force see this is the applied force that is the f and this is the force of friction or frictional force okay we know that the applied force and the frictional force they always act opposite to each other Okay, because the frictional force is nothing but the resistance force. And this normal force we denote it by Rn. Rn is the normal reaction force. Okay, so how we define the coefficient of friction? The coefficient of friction is denoted by mu. This is a symbol for the coefficient of friction. It is denoted by mu and it is given by the ratio of force of friction that is F to the normal reaction force which is nothing but the Rn. Okay. So, this is the formula for the friction. So, can you tell me what will be the unit for this? See here, force is in Newton and Rn that is normal reaction it is also in the Newton. So, both the units will get cancelled mutually. So, you will tell that the mu does not have any unit or it is a dimensionless parameter. Okay. Fine. So let us move to the next one. Okay. So next one is the limiting friction. Okay. So what exactly the limiting friction? <coughs> okay. So what the definition says is, this is the maximum value of the friction force which comes into the play when a body is just begins to slide over the surface of the other body. Okay, that means, see here, if I take this as a block, okay, I will apply the force on the block. Okay, I apply force on the block. Will the body will move immediately? No. Okay, it will take some time. And after some time, it will start moving. Okay. Uh, initially, the body is also opposed the applied force. We call it as the inertia force. Okay. So, what exactly the limiting friction is? It is the maximum value of the frictional force which comes into the play. When it comes into the play? When the body is just begin to start his journey or when just started moving that time what is friction we are having we call it as the limiting value of the friction or limiting friction okay so let us try to understand the last term that is the angle of repose okay so here uh, there is the one inclined surface on the inclined surface there is a weight which is acting 
okay so the something which i shown in the yellow is the weight or block which is resting on the inclined surface so this is m into g is nothing but the mass of the block which is always uh, we know that the mass is always acts the downward okay so n is the normal reaction okay so mg into cos theta is the force which is opposite to the normal reaction and mg cos theta and mg sin theta these are the reaction forces okay so which is the angle of repose over here <coughs> okay so see here let us consider a body this is a body which is shown in the yellow block okay of mass or weight w which is acting downwards which is resting on the block okay so as shown in the figure the plane of the horizontal is such a way that the body begins to move down in the plane okay body begins to move down in the plane so this is what the theta which is there is called as the angle of repose next one is limiting angle of friction so this is the last term which we are having fine so this is the uh, what the normal diagram we are seeing here so this is a block which is resting on the surface this is the surface okay so p is the applied force so mu into rn what is the mu into rn it's the nothing but the force of the friction which opposing the movement of the body rn is the normal reaction okay and f this f and r r is the resultant force okay so what is the limiting angle of friction okay so the reaction r okay the reaction r which is there so which is the reaction this is r okay so it is equal and opposite to the resultant of w and p okay so what is w here w is the weight which is acting downward and p is the force which is applied on the body okay so angle made by the resultant r with the w okay this is the resultant r and this is mass w that angle we call it as the angle of limiting friction so how to calculate so tan phi tan phi we have to use the trigonometric function that is tan which is equals to f okay which is equals to the f <clears throat> so how we define the tan theta tan theta is my opposite so this is the opposite so this is opposite what is the value of this this is f and divided by rn what is rn this is the adjacent side so this is the adjacent is rn okay so this is the angle of friction okay i hope it is clear thank you